Welcome back to Base Camp WNC. As the title says, we're here installing a 6KW uh, hybrid solar charge controller, and I thought I'd go over some of it. It is 6KW. Uh, of course, this is the machine right here. We have a solar disconnect and the wires going down. But this thing right here, we're going to go over it. We have this thing because the man wants to make this removable. This is the line coming out and this is the solar power that comes out. It's all AC right there. But what he has done, he got the hard part already done. He has a regular breaker panel. Then had an electrician put a intermittent disconnect on this panel so it's not the back feed. And it was hooked to the generator with the plug outside. This one right here is his essential needs. So he has in there all his refrigerator, freezer, lights, uh, everything he needs, the well pump, everything else he needs to run off this thing right there. So it made this part of the install kind of easier. So what we've done, and I'll go over the features of this machine. But this thing right here, of course, has AC power coming out to this receptacle and plug right here. This is actually the generator that goes outside um so he can this machine right here you can plug into ac and charge the batteries it's got a 30 amp battery charger on that thing it has uh, a 60 amp mppt charge controller it can run off the ac power through here it can run off the battery power it can generate solar charge the batteries run off of solar power or the batteries or combination of all of them it has a AC priority mode uh, solar priority mode it has an intelligent mode and it takes the most power from wherever it can get it and use it uh, you can take this thing and actually put it in and not even hook solar panels up it can just use you can get it to charge all your batteries during off-peak hours and then during peak hours it goes to battery power and then uh, use the battery during peak time uh, this is 6kw it can take up to 3500 watts of solar coming in so you can pile a bunch of panels on it uh, it'd take a mountain load of batteries he's got 48 this one this one set up for 48 volts and my tools right here sitting on his first battery box uh, we're going to be hooking the solar up. We're going to turn this thing on again and take some pictures of the whole thing working and explain it as we go. Well, here it is. This is a 48 volt, 6,000 watt split phase 220 inverter, meaning it has a 120 line, a 120 line, a 240 between the two and uh, 60 hertz, which is what we use here in the United States make it easier for me to set up I like putting them all on a board and then I like doing something I don't know if it's really worthwhile I like jacking it up off the board and it comes with about three quarters of an inch of air space between it and the wall I like giving it a little bit more you can look right down there you can see right below it because on the bottom side of this is a gigantic uh, heat sink and that's what this fan right here is trying to do is to keep it cool. So my view is to give it plenty of air back here and just let it breathe a little bit more. But like anything else, here's a remote switch and the external LCD. Of course, negative and positive. This comes in from your battery. This is set up for 48 volts. This is your input switch if you are feeding it from an AC grid power. That's this switch here, and here's the 220. This is the output AC switch, terminal block, and this is your dry contacts for all your generator start and everything else right here. Well, Mr. Larry, this right here might be the only time you ever get to see the inside of it, I hope. But this is the big difference. This is a 6,000 watt, low frequency, made for starting up your washing machine. This is for a well pump 220. And that's because of these great big massive copper transformers right here. The rest of it's probably about the same as everything else. This thing has been upgraded on the charge controller. 
the MPPT charge controllers upgraded on it. You got a fan blowing in, one blowing out on the other end. And a whole pile of wires and boards and a pile of copper wire. This thing right here is almost 85 pounds just for this thing. This shows the AC put input going into the box, running off the generator. And this would be nighttime where the solar wouldn't be working. You're either working off your batteries, but if you fire the generator up, you plug that AC, the input into the box. And at this point in time, you have taken the house feed here, plugged into the output of the solar unit, and now you are running off of either the generator or your battery bank. There it is, let's see. Running on generator power. Power comes in to the inverter. Load's coming out. And the battery is being charged from the inverter because it's hooked to the generator. Well, weather and everything hasn't been cooperating. It's been pouring down rain the whole time we put this part of it in. So, of course, none of the PV set up. And But this is a all-in-one hybrid charge controller. Like I said, it's 240 volt, two separate 120 lines. It works off of solar. It, it'll run off the generator. It'll run off the grid power. 
You can keep adding to it and keep building it bigger with more batteries and more solar. It's a mirage of things that works on this thing. This whole thing started out mainly he wanted to take his 240 well pump off grid, and that's where it started at. And a 3,000 watt generator and uh, solar inverter would normally do that. So he went to 6,000 watts so he could run a bunch of his house on it. Now it's just a matter of him getting used to it and how much more batteries and how much more power he wants to put to it and a learning curve of how much, when to use, why, everything else. And we're going to come back and film this thing when we can get the solar panels hooked up on it and get it all done. But if you're interested in any setup like this, contact me. Uh, it's what we do here at Carolina Homestead Planner. So like it, share it, tell your friends about it, and hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.